How should I, 40 female, react now that my best friend, 39 female, told me she's having an affair? My best friend, 39F, has been in a long-term relationship with her fiancé, 41M, for 12 years. They're forever engaged, never planning a wedding. Even though they're obviously wrong for each other, I love them both so I keep my mouth shut and support them as best I can. However, tonight she came over and told me that for the last month she's been having an affair with someone else, 42 male. And, it's a spiritual soulmate connection that she's never ever 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 felt before. And also, the sex is the best she's ever had in her entire life, but also he's married to someone else. I gave her the advice I thought that was best at the time. I love you and I know this is fresh and exciting, but the fact that it's an affair makes it completely tainted, and you need stop it until you deal with your current relationship. While fiancé isn't perfect, he doesn't deserve this and him finding out about this from anyone other than you would be cruel and heartless. It will never feel like the right time to blow up your life, break up, but this affair is a ticking time bomb and it will find the absolute wrong time to blow up in your face. I want to be happy for you, but it can't be real and wonderful until you stop lying to the person you're living with, and him to his wife. However, she seemed disappointed with me for raining on her parade, and while I know I was morally right, now I'm not sure my reaction will lead to the best outcome. I worry that she's going to shut me out from fear of judgment, and maybe I came down with too much reality too fast. I asked her to picture the reality of what would happen if his wife was banging on her door at 2 a.m. tomorrow night. I hoped to scare her straight, but I don't think it took. I'm curious from other people who've had friends in similar situations. How do I get her to see that what she's doing will only end badly and that it needs to stop? It's really 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 hard to compete with that new relationship energy, but I want to get through to her before everyone's lives are blown up. Help. Edit. 1. For everyone saying to tell her fiancé, I will not do that. It would only make things worse for both of them, and me. She made this mess and she needs to clean it up, it's not for me to meddle with. 2. For people saying to cut her off, I won't do that either. Good people sometimes do really awful things without considering the collateral damage. People sometimes fuck up royally and everyone deserves to have friends who will be there to set us straight and tell us how we fucked up. 3. There are no perfect humans. Not me, not him, not her. I am not interested in passing judgment. I'm interested in helping her realize she's on the wrong path without pushing her away. As a friend you was being honest and you said the right things. What happens now is on her. But make sure one thing. If shit blows up she better not bring that shit to your doorstep. Welp. Do you care about your friendship with the dude? If you do you have to tell him because there is a huge chance he's gonna find out. Or do you care more about your friendship with the adulterer chick? If so then don't tell the dude because telling him will end this friendship. So you get to decide who you want to be friends with the most. My best friend growing up cheated on her husband. And she was filling the hole with one bad guy after the next and I had to keep her out of my life because she was letting fundamental issues go by the wayside. Like a guy who used booger sugar around her kids. She knew when they got together he wasn't good in bed and she let it fester. Until now. Her life is in shambles and I had met my husband and we had our first child and I didn't want her negative energy. I guess just drop the issue then if you are not going to tell the other partner. When this does come out, and it will inevitably come out, you will get caught in the crossfire anyways given that you already knew this information. It's a lose-lose situation for yourself. Tell him and they will be mad at you. Don't tell him, and he will be mad at you. Plus you would be a bad person, but you will maintain your relationship with the cheating partner. Also, your friend's affair partner is never going to leave his wife. It shows that you are just as unhealthy as she is having an affair with a married man, while keeping her partner in reserve married man's family? Your choice to be a spectator to this situation reflects your character. You can't fix it, you're just supporting adultery, you're an accomplice and how will your partner feel about you if they find out? 18 female, 25 male. Am I in the wrong for asking, why? When my boyfriend asked to see me phone. To make an extremely long and complicated story short, I was hanging out with my boyfriend and then suddenly he asked to see my phone. Now to preface this, he's been cheated on in past relationships and I've told him I will be patient and understanding with him but also that a level of mutual trust is needed in order for a healthy and amiable relationship. I understand that his trust has been betrayed but when you willingly decide to enter into a relationship with someone else you gotta let that past go. 
Anyways, he asks me for my phone out of the blue and I innocently ask a simple, why? I didn't even sound like scared of trying to hide anything. The question was just merely out of curiosity before I gave him the phone. He gets upset and mad and starts screaming and yelling at me obviously being very accusatory and while he never flat out said, I know you're cheating. I could tell from his tone and his body language that's what he thought. This isn't the first time we've had a fight about him thinking I'm cheating on him. I've told him on multiple occasions that's he's my first boyfriend. I had no prior relationship experience. He took my virginity, etc etc. Meanwhile he had two kids, two baby mamas and a whole slew of other exes that still hit him up to this day. So when I brought up the fact that he has more of a past than I do and if anyone in the relationship should be worried about cheating, it should be me. He got defensive and told me I was being immature. To add the cherry on top of the whole situation, I found letters he wrote to his ex in a shoebox under his bed and when I brought up the fact that he still has those letters he told me that he was gonna show their son when he gets older. I understand that snooping around is wrong but when I went through the shoebox I found letters and like two abortion pamphlets who tells their child that they were gonna get aborted. He was definitely lying to me I feel like. After that he told me to leave his house and to never contact him again. He does this every time we fight, he kicks me out, blocks me on everything, doesn't talk to me for a few days then randomly hits me up without any sort of apology or anything and expects things to go back to normal. Anyways, I guess I'm just writing this to get some advice about the whole situation. Am I in the wrong here? Is he? Are we both? Should I stay with him or should I break up with him for good? Please break up with him. He's not ready to be in relationship and a 8 year gap at your age is a bit too much. You've been so patient for him, but you don't deserve to be treated this way. This age gap is wild. Holy shit he is literally made of red flags. I 100% guarantee you that you'll regret staying with this guy. Break up for good. None of his behavior is healthy or sustainable for a long-term relationship. His past experience with being cheated on is not your responsibility to fix for him. Others' mistakes are not yours to fix. At no point does he have any sort of right to ask to see your phone and know as a complete sentence. And this is why he's dating an 18-year-old. Cuz at 25 I definitely wasn't dating a loser with 2 BMs. Maybe next time read the flags waving in your face. I, M28, found a suspicious video of my girlfriend, F30. Me, M28, and my girlfriend, F30, have been together for almost 7 years. I've noticed my girl take her phone out of my hands recently. I sometimes use it for Facebook Marketplace etc. Last night, my curiosity got the best of me, 28 male, and found nudes I've never seen, plus a masturbation video. They all came from Snapchat according to her, 30 female GF, iPhone. They were all taken last week. In 7 years of relationship, she has never taken a video that I am aware of like this. I, 28 male. Asked her who she, 30 female gf, sent them to on snapchat because it wasn't me, and she denies anything. Once I finally talked her into showing me, she had one recent conversation with an ex-boyfriend from college, that has been deleted but snapchat was asking if she wanted to restore it. She swears the videos are for herself, but why delete the conversation if that's the case? She says the conversation deleted was just a friendly catch up but with one of her exes? I'm having a hard time with believing that why delete a friendly conversation. Plus when it asked to restore, it showed one of them best friend icons as if they had been messaging for more than 4 days, 4 day streak, about the age of the photos and video. Do girls all of a sudden start taking videos of themselves or do you think she was sending them elsewhere? The video was extremely lustful, as if it were made for someone. She had her face in the video biting lips moaning etc and camera angle moved downward. I just don't get it. She says the videos was for her, but I've never known her to do that and we are very open. She says she deleted her Snapchat conversation in fear of me seeing it and because it was a problem deleted the app altogether. What do you think? Those are for her other boyfriend silly. Honestly, it sounds like you know the answer yourself and just wanting extra validation from us. There's way too many inconsistencies in this. The fact that she takes your phone away quickly is a big red flag in itself. Personally IDK anyone that keeps M videos and nudes of themselves for their own pleasure. There is probably someone out there into that but so unlikely. Edit. And also, why would anyone be in contact with their ex? Personally I see no merit in that kind of thing unless you still harbor some sort of feelings for that ex. You know the answer.
so did you actually restore the conversation? At a minimum this would need to happen, if not the relationship is over. Girl has a 7 year itch and contacted her ex to scratch it. She can start again at 30 with an ex who just wants to fuck her and leave. Her problem now. How are people this naive? My, 28F, biological father, 52M, wants to walk me down the aisle and I don't know what to do. I, 28F, is getting married to my fiancé, 29M, in August. I have mostly everything for the wedding planned out and I'm super excited. Recently though I've been having a debate on who's going to walk me down the aisle that day. My original plan was to have my stepfather, 51M, who has been in my life since I was 8 years old, to walk me down since he's been in my life for so long and earned the title of a father to me. He's been there through most of my ups and downs in life and I wanted him to have a special role in my wedding. My biological father, 52M, hadn't been in my life for long. The reason my parents divorced was because he had an affair and left after his affair partner had gotten pregnant. He had just recently came back into my life a few months ago after losing my half-sister from an illness. My biological father learned about the plan for my wedding and asked why couldn't he walk me down the aisle since he was, real, dad. I had told him that it was always the plan for my stepfather to walk me down the aisle before we even started to speak again. He told me that I can always, change the plan, and he wanted a chance to walk his daughter down the aisle since it was a one-time opportunity for him. He sent told me all of this in a long text. I told him I needed some time to think about things and I'll let him know. I feel awful right now. I know this would be my dad's only chance of walking his daughter down the aisle since he lost my half-sister but at the same time my dad has just now come back into my life unlike my stepfather who has been with me for years. I really don't know what to do. What do I exactly tell my father about walking me down the aisle? You tell him, stepfather is walking me down the aisle. You don't explain it or defend your choice. You don't expand. It was a one-time opportunity for him. It was also a one-time opportunity for him to take care of his daughter, but he didn't take the chance. Your bio dad was not there for you. Your stepdad is your dad. He's the one who loves you and took care of you. He should be the one who merits the honor. Would your bio dad be around if his daughter hasn't died? He seems selfish just thinking about what he, ll miss because the other daughter isn't there but he's not thinking what he did to you or what the other man did for you. Oh God. Why are you even asking? Your stepfather was your real dad. If he was a good dad to you it would be a terrible betrayal to choose the dad who ditched you. I would tell your biological dad that your stepfather will be giving you away. He raised you and he takes priority in this situation. Your biological dad will have to live with the consequence of his actions. So your real dad left you for your half-sister and only came back cause she died. It's a no-brainer your stepdad. He has been there for you the majority of your life. Your bio dad was only a sperm donor. 